second wave. Throwing backs like haymakers. UFC fight night, no faking these heartbreakers. Punch tax bank rolls, the scorecards never fold. A top 21 sports talking bold like this catching gold. Eric saying underdogs got swagger Wait, counter champs got a clan and jaw won't stagger Money on the line, bets as sharp as a dagger Hot cops bling, flashing lights, heavyweight bagger Head off 21, clash of minds, no surprise Eric Wade in the ring, shouting not shooting high Like night dreams, cold cash gleam in the eyes Betting fraud, UFC calls on the podcast, guys Welcome to the part of the podcast where we're talking some UFC and who better come on then Wade from Top Flight Picks. Wade, how are you doing today, my man? Doing great. Glad to be back as always. Ready to get into this card, man. My apologies. I was traveling last week. I went to Central Michigan University's homecoming. Um, great little time back in the old Pride of the Prairie, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Yes. Fire up chips. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, went to the homecoming thing, went to a dive bar. CMU came back and covered. It was a great weekend, my friend. Can't complain. But we're not here to rumble them. We are here to talk some UFC. Those watching for the first time or listening on the podcast, Wade and I each have three bets. We don't know what we're going to be doing here, so this is always interesting and fun. Wade, bet number one, front bet number one, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, main card. I'm going to go with Michelle Pajeda. I love this guy, man. He's uh, ever since he moved up to the 185 weight class, he has just destroyed the competition in three dominant performances. And I think he gets another one here. Um, Fluffy Hernandez is very good. I definitely respect him. He's also coming in on a five fight win streak. So both fighters are um, really prime and in the top of their game right now. Um, Hernandez actually averages over six takedowns per fight. Um, but I really think that's really his only path to victory is to get him on the ground and kind of keep him there. Um, Hernandez doesn't have a ton of power, and um, I just honestly don't think he's going to try to stand on the on, on his feet and fight with Pereira. Um, if he does, I just think he's going to be in a world of trouble. Um, Pereira's vibe, his, he's very too way too vicious with his strikes. He's too lethal. He's too quick. Um, he puts a wild pace and speed behind his strikes, and I'm not sure if Hernandez can really get a hold of him. Um, Hernandez is very big, and he's very strong for the weight class. Um, he actually averages a 94% takedown defense. Um, so I just don't really see a, a path to victory for Hernandez here, and I think he might get finished in this one. I like it. I was looking at this one as well, but you know me. I got to go to my UFC women fights, and – I went to Alderlean plus 120. Martinez is coming off a two-year layoff due to an injury, knee injury. How is she going to look with that big layoff coming off a major knee injury that held her out? I know there's all these videos of her working out, climbing ropes, doing all these crazy sprints. But that's in a controlled environment. When you get in a cage in an octagon with an experienced fighter, that stuff kind of goes out of the um out of the window martinez also is taking this fight at a short notice so she does she's going in and she doesn't even have a, a full camp and now look i know she's an explosive fighter but if she can't strike and put weight on her knee and she gasses out from not having a full camp alice who is an experienced grappler is going to be able to get this on the ground and grind out a victory. The whole fight for this is, do you think Alice is going to be able to get a takedown? If you think Alice is going to be able to get takedowns and control control her on the ground, then you have, have to take Alice here. And I'm going to say it, she won her last fight. She was unjustly done, those scorecards, back in the fall. She has a grappling advantage. I think she's going to be able to limit Martinez's striking. I know Martinez is an experienced kickboxer, but I'm really going to have question your cardio. I think Alice is going to get this to the ground. Give me, give me Alice here plus one twenty, my friend. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. These girl fights a lot of times go to a split decision, so um, it's always better to be on the plus money side. And like I said, my future ex-wife is in this card. I wanted to bet her, Jessica Manini, but I did not. I'm afraid she's going to go out. Uh, with an L here, so I didn't go to her for my next fight. I went to the same one that you have. Why don't you tell us why you like Elkins? 
Yeah, man, I uh, this is a tough one here. And to be full disclosure, I actually only put a half unit on this play. Um, Pineda is very dangerous in the first round. Um, he comes out very explosive. He actually only has two two decisions in um, 44 professional fights. So um, he's either going to get knocked out by a ground and pound or he's going to do some damage. So um, I still think Elkins is the side here. He's got the better cardio. He's a lot more durable. I think he can outlast Pineda's fury in the first round. Um, Elkins averages more takedowns. He's got a better takedown defense. Um, he's got a better overall defense. He doesn't get hit as much. Um, and he puts he outputs a lot more strikes landed per minute. Um, his accuracy is not really there. But what I like about him is he is um, he's just a dog. He's gonna take this to the ground. I think he doesn't mind striking and moving forward. But I also think he can get this on the ground, get it against the cage, um, find a nice ground and pound situation, and maybe finish Pineda. Um, I just like Elkins here. I think he's just the tougher side. And I think he's gonna be able to weather the storm and, and get this thing done. What I did, my friend, is I did the same thing. You got a better number at me, so I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous of you. I got him at minus 114. We should have both got it at plus money had we not waited till the end of the week. You know what? I was sleeping at the wheel, man, and that is my bad. Um, yeah. Elkin said after his last fight, now this has really stood out to me, he needed to do a better job of taking care of his body, and he did that. He used yeah. to fight two to three times a year. His last fight, there was a year break. Now, he hasn't fought since October of last year. So, he got his year break. In that last fight against TJ Brown, he looked a lot better, a lot fresher. Elkins has the advantage in the strike, striking more balanced fighter. Panita only really has counterpunching Elkins, 3.44 significant strikes per minute. His wrestling is a suffocating type wrestling. He's just going to get on you and suffocate you to death. If this becomes a wrestling match, I think it's huge for Elkins. I wasn't impressed in Benita's last bout. Elkins, in my eyes, has more pass where he can get a victory, and that is what I'm looking like. That's what I'm looking for in a fight like this. Give me Elkins here. I got minus 114. We're not on the same picks often, so I like it. I know, man. I know. It's a little weird, man. It's a little weird. Next one. Where are you going, my friend? Yeah, I gave out a two-leg Charles Johnson and Asu Ambaya for uh, plus 116. Grab that over on Bet365, where actually most of my bets end up going because they just seem to have the best odds on UFC fighting. Um, I like Charles Johnson, man. He's been really impressive, um, especially in his KO victory over Joshua Van in his last fight. He's been rolling. He's coming in on a um, three-fight win streak, looking for number four, and he was in great shape last last fight. Um, he likes to move forward, likes to press you, um, push you, push the pace. Um, he's a very polished striker um, who isn't afraid to take a shot to give one back. Um, he will have to avoid and be aware of um, his, his opponent's strikes um, and the speed of his strikes, but I don't think Johnson needs to really worry about the power here. Um, Luderje, he's, he's, uh, he can get some shots in on Johnson, but I just, I love backing the dog here. I think if Johnson does get into a, a fist fight, a dog fight, I'd, I'd rather be on his side. I think he's gonna be able to push back and inflict enough damage to uh, get his hand raised. And, um, I see I'm a buy of man. He's just, uh, he's really tough. Once he, once he gets you down on the ground, you're probably not going to go anywhere. And, um, Nick allows really downtrending in his, in his career where I see coming up here. Um, he averages over six takedowns per fight, and Nicolau does have a 93% takedown defense, but I believe with the onslaught and pressure that Asu is going to put on, he'll be able to uh, to find his takedowns. Um, Asu actually averages only one absorbed significant strike per minute here, which is wild, but it's low because he just he's hard to hit. Um, he's quick. He can get around you, um, and once he grapples you and wrestles you to death, he just kind of latches onto you for the fight. So we might see us just a decision here because he's just going to grind this thing out for for three rounds. But uh, we could see a, we could see a finish here on this. So, um, but I like Johnson, and I'm a buy a money line here. So I like it. I like it. My last bet. This is different for me. Taking Phillips to win by TKO, K or or submission at plus two twenty five. Look. I like font. I'm a huge font fan, but I think it's the end of the road. I think this is his last fight on the mothership. One and four, last five. His chin, and now look, I know it's been a while since he's been knocked out. It's not what it used to be. I think he's got some miles on that chin. 
Phillips can strike, but he can also grapple. I think that Phillips is going to look to get this on the ground. And once this is on the ground, this is going to be a huge advantage to him because he's either going to be able to get the ground and pound or he's going to be able to sneak in a sub. Phillips has a huge cardio advantage. And when we watch Font fight, I watched a couple of his older bouts. There's no lateral side to side movement. He's literally just in front of you punching. Phillips is going to be moving side to side. He's going to frustrate Font with his foot speed. He's insanely quick. Look, Phillips is going to be able to get this on the ground. I think we all know that. If this does stay in a striking contest, which I don't think it will, I give Phillips the advantage in the striking because he he just moves. Font is a statue up there. And I know he's a tough SOB, but all those punches add up over time. And I think we're going to start seeing this here. Font, it's been a good run. Give me Phillips here. TKO, KO, or submission plus 225. I don't hate it. You know me. I'm trying to fit Phillips this card somewhere. His money lines minus 450, minus 500. I like to usually parlay these money lines because it's hard to – every time I take one of these inside the distances, it goes against me. So I think it's a good move. I think it's a good look. Font's due for a uh, a finish at some point as his age gets up there. So um, I don't hate it, but, yeah, I definitely would – Anybody listening, I definitely would would side with Phillips in this fight. He's definitely going to win this thing. Wade, I'd like to thank you for coming on the podcast, talking some UFC. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you on social media and if they want to become part of your Discord, my friend. Yeah, just come check me out on X at underscore top flight picks. Um, got a seven-day free trial always in my bio link there. Um, check out the few posts that are out every day. We run – non-stop giveaways too so if you guys are looking for some free cash and looking for some bets to uh to tail come check me out there i've actually got running right now so um maybe if they all cash we'll be paying paying out a lot of money this uh next couple of days so um but yeah come check me out make sure to give my boy a way to follow and there's a pay-per-view next week so we'll be back for that best yeah. of luck in your bets my friend you too